It's balanced water and grow trays along with getting proper, germinating our seeds. And this week, I'm so excited <laughs> because, first of all, you've seen results. Have you not? Have you seen results? And tell me about yeah. it. Tell me about your results. Um, Melissa, tell me what, what happened. Well, we, we got most of our seeds germinated. I think we have one scraggler. I'm not sure if, it, if he's okay or not, but, but we, we've got them all and the kids have loved watching it. And am I pronouncing it correctly? The hydrocodal, is that how you say it? Yes. 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 So we, we've been looking for those and the kids have been pointing them out. So it's been fun. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Carol, what happened with you? Well, um, as I uh, mentioned, I the first night I forgot to plug in the heat mat, but <laughs> the second day, like everything popped up except for two or three, maybe. But the, the ones that weren't popped up looked like they were promising. So as of right now, I've got, I think, like uh, 10 with leaves on them, green leaves. Wow. One has like, they don't look really green. So I don't know if that one's going to make it. And one is just a, still a pelleted seed that's cracked open, but he hasn't decided he wants to come out yet. And I think one looks like, oh, one's completely fallen over. Were you saying if they fall over, they're not no, viable? You just leave it, you just leave it as long as the hypocotyl is not broken. Correct, I do not think so. I think it just fell over for, I don't know why, but and, so I guess- And I, some I, of them, Sometimes starfighter, uh, oh. starfighters as they start up will lay over. Okay. So you'll just, um, the, the green butter doesn't tend to lay over, but sometimes the starfighter does oh. and I just leave them. And I had meant to mention to you that, and it may have come, some of the kits come with a propagator oh, and these God. you can take cuttings and put those in your DWC tank and they'll start rooting and then you can transfer cuttings back outside. Okay. I've done that with lots of plants. So, and then you can, I was, one of the incredible uses for hydroponics is that you don't go and spend, what'd you say, Carol, $78? Yes. Buying plants. I had a <laughs> you don't need to do. I had a cabbage worm eat like 40 plants and I decided I was, I wanted them. They were beets. I love them. I want them. I went and bought them $76 to replace. I don't even, I bought, I bought like 24, 24. I was like stunned. And that's one of the things you can do with the hydroponics. If you are planting outside, if you're using raised beds, whatever you're using, you can start it in the, the hydroponic system that you're setting up, I'm starting lufa seeds because I want to grow lots and lots and lots of lufa uh, for texaslufa.com <laughs> and Texas Lufa Farm, <laughs> which is all part of Hydro for Food. Then you can eat lufa and we'll talk about lufa later, but it's already, it was in for less than 36 hours and they're already popping up. So I'll show, I'll be able to show you this next week. All right, let's get started. So your kit, now I don't have, I went ahead and set mine up. Mine is set up. So we'll be referring to it at different points, but let's see what you have in your kit. You should have a tank, a lid, a tank, a lid. You should have a, an aerator pump. No way. You have the pump. Okay. You should have, I believe in some of the bags, some of the kits, they have Lika. Set that aside. You won't need that yet. That yep. stands for lightweight expanded clay aggregate. And these are what will hold your, this is what will hold your Rockwell cubes in the net cups. And you should have gotten net cups. Yours are bigger. One of the reasons why this is a uh, this is an inch net cup, and that's one of the reasons why I go with the two inch in the the DWC tank that I believe each of you purchased. But this is just this is from my nursery tank. But you can see they're smaller in size. 
You should also have some kits come with Rockwell cubes. Some come with extra Rockwell cubes. So you can, good. So you can set that, that you can set aside as well because you'll be planting more. I know you will. <laughs> after, after you reach a certain point, you're just excited. And, and I, you know, or maybe it's just me and <laughs> so <I'm> excited. <laughs> then you have air stones. Should come with air stones. Now you may have a round one, round one. Okay, so round one. And some air stones are bars, a bar form, either one is fine. So what you're going to do, and I'm gonna show you, and this is, this came already put together. This was in one kit and it was already put together. Did yours come put together? Or did yours come with the tubing off? And mine's tubing. black. You can't okay, see the I'm gonna, no, I've got one that's black. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your tubing and you're going to measure approximately four inches. So measure approximately four inches. Now, did you did you come with did you have a check valve? Yes, this thing. Yes, a check valve. So you should have had a check valve. And let's see here's where is my oh, there's my check valve. It's already in. Do you have the check valve, Melissa? Yes, I believe, I believe, let me get this out of here, I think so. There's your check valve. Is it? I think it's one of these things, I'm guessing. Can you... mm -hmm. okay. It's a check valve. It will have a place. What it's going to do is, there's on the check valve is a an arrow and the words out. So you'll just set that aside for a second. I just want to make sure you have a check valve. If you don't have a check valve, then you don't want to cut off an end of the tubing to make sure that you put in the check valve correctly. I All right. don't so. see an arrow and the word out. Do you, Melissa? Um, what hold yours up? What is your? Is this what yours looks like? Do we have the same one? Oh, yours has like a blue thing on it. Yeah. Okay. It should. If you if you just blow through it, it should just go one way. Okay. And that way that it blows, that's going the air you want to go in to your tank. Okay. And one of the reasons why you want that is because sometimes the water will start coming out and it will drain your system. So the end you can blow. It'll in, siphon it out. Mm -hmm. The end that you can blow in where air comes out, you want that sticking in the tank. That's the one that you want pointed toward the tank. Yeah. Okay. That's the end you want in the tank. Okay. All right. Right. And mine is really, really light. The the wording out is really, really light. But that's the one that the longest piece is going to go on. Well, I do see that now, but it's it's inside that blue part. Like Melissa, okay. maybe yeah. if you're black. Uh -huh. it's in yeah, I'm putting signing my light on it. Now. <laughs> but this, I think, fell off of it. Like this little rubber thing was over it. Does that go okay. back on? That's what's okay. going to. Yes. Yes. It's so hard okay. to see. I'm going to, I think I'm going to put it on speaker view and we can see better. Okay. And where you've got time to experiment with it, <laughs> you will have time to experiment with it because we're setting this up probably about two weeks before we're going to maybe a week and a half before we're actually going to be placing our seedlings in the tanks okay so it's okay we have time but i wanted us <laughs> to have it <laughs> and you'll be able to experiment too and i want you to i want you to make sure that all parts are working before we put our seedlings in because as when I'm growing things hydroponically, one of the things that's the most challenging is this part that we're in right now. It's making sure the seedlings have just the right amount of moisture, making sure we handle them carefully. Then when we start seeing leaves, we expose them to sun, to a grow light, and, and we still keep them on the heat mat and then in the transfer process. All right, so we have the, the tubing and we're going to cut off approximately four inches. There you go. And 
you're going to take and put that four inch into the other side of the check valve. The other side being the side that doesn't have the out on it. Yes. Okay. And thank you, always ask questions along the way. Please, I want you to ask questions. Your questions have been perfect. That's what All right. we're, we're going through step by step. And there were questions I had and I was, <laughs> where, where's the answer? Okay, <laughs> I, sometimes, I, I'm sorry, go ahead, I'm sorry. No. Sometimes you said? No, sometimes I just, I wouldn't find the answers. Oh, okay. I can't see the screen as well, I guess, for some reason, what do I stick with? <laughs> okay. Now this thing's got the, all right, so here you go. You have the check valve. The longest portion is in the out. Now it all fell apart and it's three pieces, so. Okay, here we go. Check valve. Let me see. The out. The blue thing. Uh-huh. That says out. Stick it in one of those ends of the long piece. We're going to put the longest one on that one. That blue thing goes inside that hole. Yes. Because that's going to blow the air. It's kind of hard to get in there, huh? Yeah. Okay. Yes. That's one of the reasons oh. why I said needle nose pliers. Oh. Okay. <laughs> all the way up to the top of the blue thing? You don't have to have it all the way, as long as it's a good grip and it's not leaking air. Okay. It doesn't have to be all the way. It's, it won't, it, I don't ever push mine that far on. Okay. I think it's about halfway through. That's all. Okay, right. that's pretty good. There we go. Now we're going to take the four inch. Yep. And we're going to put it on the other side of the check valve. Okay, but this piece fell off. Is this not being used right now? No, no, you don't need that. So the other four inch goes on the other end. Yes. And that's the other part of your black or the other part of your tubing. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, take some muscle. <laughs> <laughs> For needle nose pliers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then when you blow on it, you should feel air coming out the other end. There you go. That says it will send air, which yep. is into our into our deep water culture tank so you have a d we're about to build our d water culture tank dwc now that you have that you're going to take and here is your motor your pump white thing and you have an end you see the hole mm -hmm. and yours may be like this one here, that it may be interior. Yep. And you're going to put the tubing into that. So now we have the tubing, the check valve, and a length of tubing. Yay! <laughs> there you go. Yay! That's it. Now, what's going to happen is now we're going to do some more to the tank, but this is going to go in through, and I'm, I'm going to show. I'm going to go over here and show you what's on this tank because here's where your grommets are going to become important. Okay. So over on this tank. And if you could turn it this way. Over on this tank, you'll see, you see a hole in a grommet? Do you see this hole? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So one of your grommets will go there. Okay. 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 Uh, yeah, the top, the hole at the top. There, now this is at the side, on this well, side. Well, but it's, well, yeah. But there's a, it's on the end. Yeah. There's one on yes. the bottom on this side and the top on this side. 
Yes, perfect. Perfect. Yay. Yay. <laughs> and you're going to, this is where you will feed your, that long, that, that long piece of tubing, that long piece of tubing will be fed into that, into your tank through that grommet. We'll do that now. Uh-huh. The long piece on the, in the grommet. Uh-huh. Inside the grommet. And it will be fed into your tank where it will be attached to your stone. Okay, so that has to go all the way through that grommet hole on the other side. Uh-huh, yes. And go through the grommet spot. hole. And then and you're yeah. going to, so once you have the tubing in, then you're going to put your stone, put the round stone on it, and then it will go inside the tank. And this is, that's what mine's doing is it's bubbling. It's putting air into the tank. Uh, I'm having trouble getting that black tube to come out the other side of the grommet. Does it have to? That's why you, yes, it has to come out the other side into the tank. And that's why I said bring needle nose pliers because it's tight. Just keep like twisting it till it goes in. Mm -hmm. like Twist until you have a tip that you can take the needle nose pliers and pull. And the reason why I said bring needle nose pliers <laughs> is because it I had literally had to use needle nose pliers. <laughs> and if you sometimes if you wet it a little, that helps. And do we want um, this to be kind of we want it hanging or do we want it be touch to be touching the the bottom it's going to it, it will be touching the bottom okay it will be touching the bottom and what it will be doing and what i want you to do after we finish setting up the dwc and setting up our tanks our hydro tanks tonight i want you to experiment with putting water in there and see if it produces bubbles okay. see if it produces air just to confirm that your system is working in that way Okay, you said this stone is going to touch the bottom, so I have uh -huh. to get that. I have to get that black tube very far through that. Through that. About uh, about six to eight inches would be good. Very far. I'm working on it. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's very tight. Just wet it. Wet yeah. wet the hose some and pull through. Let me do that. The, okay, the pliers, and you're yeah, I had I ended up having to use the pliers, like you said. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't quite strong enough. <laughs> I wasn't. <laughs> okay, and then your stone went on the end. Your stone went on the end once it was inside the tank. Your stone, yay! Yay! Oh, does it touch the bottom? You said I mean, it will. It will touch the bottom, and you'll you'll eventually want it in the middle of the tank as best as you can. So oh, that okay. it, it aerates the entire, all the plants that you'll have in it. Okay. So should we pull it to the middle then? Because now it's yes. pulling easily. Okay. Yes. Okay, got it in the middle. Yay. <laughs> Wetting it did help. Oh, yay. <laughs> A lot. Okay, now it's past the All right, end. there okay. you go. Stone on the end. And when we're through with with our set of, there you go, yay, woo! That's hilarious. <laughs> hey, when I finally pulled mine through, <laughs> okay, uh, you, and there was no one around to raise the roof with me. <laughs> just, okay, next step, we got that one, yes. All right, so raise your right hand, raise your right hand, raise your right hand, raise your left hand. Raise your right hand. Jasmine. And I want you to bend at the elbow and say, <laughs> woohoo! Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next step, we're going to put it. Now, this one has, a, this is going to be a water indicator. Not all of the tanks have that. So it'll be a water indicator. And this way, you'll know where approximately your nutrient is. 
Next week, we're going to be mixing up nutrients, getting it ready to, to place into our tank. They've changed the tank some. So what I'll do is send you extra instructions for that. So is that, did you say it's to check the water level? Yeah, it, yeah it's an indicator. It's a type okay, of indicator. So, so just follow the, follow, follow, it's different than this one, but you can know, follow the instructions. It looks like we are it. just, looks like we're just supposed to use what we have. I can probably follow it. Do you see Melissa? Yeah. I think we'll put that okay, elbow good. in the bottom. Got ball in the tube. Okay. The okay. In the okay. I, I get it. It's just you, do you see it now? So it's an elbow and then you can see the, the, the liquid. Okay, perfect. I have to get it in there, but you put the grommet in, then you put the elbow in, then you put that yes. blue thing. Oh. Yes. Okay. I actually like what you have better. Yay, yeah. look at her go. Not too, <laughs> too hard. <laughs> nice. You can needle those pliers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, just a funky little thing. Here we go. I think I got it. Yeah. And, and when this week, what I want you to do is make sure that you test it, that you put enough where you can see at the water level, you test the, the, the grommets, make sure that they're holding and thing, you know, just, so we'll be doing the test and I'll send that as a follow-up as a reminder as, as we check. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Yay. I'm so proud of you too. Yes. <laughs> now we have to do, okay, now we have to do hats off. Ready? Okay, hats off to us. <laughs> and honestly, this is, this is what stops some people from doing, hot, growing their own food is because it's, you know, it's, it's just, when you're doing it together, then you can clarify with each other. And that's what we really did tonight is we clarified with each other. And that's why we're in it together. Okay. Now, let's look at where you have. I want to show you what I did with the light. One of the reasons why you want the reusable zip ties is because you can, I mean, the, you can take. And what I've done is I have extended from the wire shelf. I put two wire ties. And I hung the light. So it's what you want to do is you want to keep your light, your grow light closer to your seedlings, closer to your plants, so that they are growing out instead of being leggy and growing up. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. Does that make sense? And yeah. honestly, the last time we, the, during the first lesson, we were looking at it afterward and we, uh, you know, and, and, you know, I was, I thought it's too far up. It's too far up. So I actually, I let it back down. I, I added another, but adding the wire ties, I have found that wire ties are easier than taking wire because then I can adjust it as I need to when they grow. And believe it or not, these are going to grow and they will eventually hit this light if I were to leave it that way. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And see, look, even different from the last time that we compared, look at our, our root system. That's awesome. Yeah. Wow. So you, you could, this would be microgreens, but you, you could actually eat these at this point. I want mine to grow a little bit more. I want them to grow a little bit more. So what we've done is, and it doesn't matter the shelf, one of the reasons why I recommend a wire shelf is so that you have that flexibility. You're keeping your plant, your seedlings, you're keeping your seedlings on a heat map. I have mine down here on a heat map. And because all of mine, all of mine are germinating at this point, they've, and they've got some leaves, I'm, I'm put the grow light on, I've got a timer on, I've got a timer on, and because I have two grow lights, I added a multi-plug, and so my timer is turning on both of them for 14 hours. If you're going to transplant and put them outside, if you're going to transplant and put them outside, I would suggest that you stay on a day cycle instead of a night cycle. Perfect. 
All right, so look at what you've done. You are so close mm -hmm. and you are growing. And sometimes your seeds, not all seeds will germinate. Mm -hmm. That's part of it. Not all of them will germinate. You wait. Uh, and, and it's okay. That's why I, I plant more. And that's, that's why I'll germinate more. And so that's just part of the process. Here were my handy dandy needle nose pliers. <laughs> Do you have questions? I don't think so. <clears throat> I think so not right now well, i just wanted to i just wanted to show you what's coming hmm. wow that's so cool yeah these are this is a red butter so it's better than flowers oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's better than flowers and this is what's going to happen with yours in just a few more weeks Okay. And look, do you see these roots that are coming off the sides? That's so cool that you don't see when your plants in the ground. Yeah. Because those are called air roots. Oh, wow. That's really neat. Isn't that interesting? It is, yeah. Next week, it is in nutrient. This is in nutrient. Next week, we will be putting together, we'll be mixing nutrients. We'll be putting together the uh, NPK and making our nutrient so that you'll have five gallons so that when our plants are ready to, our seedlings are ready to transplant, they'll go directly into your DWC, your deep water culture tank. And you will begin to watch them grow even more. Right. What was the best part? What was the best part of tonight's session? Tonight's virtual lesson two on shelving, lighting, and deep water culture tank. Would you like Go ahead, Melissa. <laughs> well, I, I just put it together. I mean, it seemed so, I don't know, un, un, inaccessible, you know, before you know how to do something. And it's like, oh, it wasn't, it wasn't really that hard with a little bit of guidance. So that was, that was neat to see that. Thank you. And isn't it nice to do it together? Yeah, I just, for sure. I, I that to me is such a an opportunity to learn from each other, and that's why people work together. Carol, what was your best? Well, the best part. You mentioned that if you put water in that tubing, it'll work. And I struggled a little bit, and I struggled a little bit, and then I thought, you said it again. I was like, I'm getting that water, and it. <laughs> <laughs> So that was part of the lesson. Put the water on the tube. Because <laughs> my hands were hurting. And you, and you thought I was kidding when I said needle nose pliers. That you know, no. people say, why is that? Why was is wondering. that a needed tool? <laughs> I was wondering what they were going to be for. I had them. That's my favorite tool in a toolkit. But yeah. if I was on an island, that'd be the tool. Well, maybe I, a I know. Needle yeah. nose pliers, hammer. Phillips head screwdriver, flat head screwdriver, duct tape, painter's tape, and I would recommend <laughs> to get your bag uh, of, yes, reusable zip ties. Yeah, man, somebody <laughs> was smart in mending those. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for Thank being you. with me this evening. Thank you for putting together your tanks. Thank you for your perseverance. Thank and you. we will be back next week.